this new background. I decided to film here today because I just decided to and I really like it. I might use it as my new background. I'm gonna have to sort out this glare from the window though on my glasses. I need to buy some anti-glare glasses. Anyway, um, <laughs> this video is actually not gonna be me talking about my glasses, but it's going to be a mini little wrap-up update thing about the 30 day challenge, which as many of you know I have been doing. So I'm gonna get straight into it. I have managed to read during the 30 day challenge not that much. It hasn't been that great because I've been working a lot, but I have read more than I usually would during a school period where I have lots of essays and stuff. Um, I managed to read Infinite Sky, which the review is up and I will link it below, but this book is... Ah, I'm gonna watch the review if you want to see me raving about this book, but I really love this one. Um, I've also read Heart of Darkness by Joseph Conrad, but that's in the library because I had to go back. But that was also very good, it was a little bit meh. That review will be up shortly. Um, I'm, I haven't, I'm currently sort of in limbo with reading at the minute. I'm kind of like, I have so much stuff to do and I want to read but I don't have enough time. So tonight I'm planning on getting back into it by reading Death of a Salesman. And I know I said that I'd read it yesterday but I didn't have time yesterday either. So if I have time, I will read Death of a Salesman tonight because it's one of the books we're studying and I want to get it um, ahead of myself, I guess. Uh, I'm also going to try and read all of Shakespeare's sonnets in one day, probably on Friday because I am not at school. Yeah, that has nothing to do with the fact that it's sports day and I don't want to go. No way. Um, I feel like I should have a cup of tea. This feels wrong. I'm gonna get a cup of tea. I'll be back. Mmm, tea. I have green tea in my Alice in Wonderland mug. I actually love this mug. I bought it in Florida when we went. Oh my god, it was so exciting. Ah, so amazing. But, um, I'm gonna... And it's very hot. Okay, I'm gonna leave that there. Poetry. I'm about this far through the Tennyson poems. I'm loving them because most of them rhyme and you don't find that many... Well, I don't find that many poems that rhyme. I haven't read many poems that rhyme apart from kitty poems but these are just so awesome and ah I love Tennyson I really do I'm kind of midway through loads of books at the minute I've got um, this far through Revolutionary Road it's not too bad going I'm loving it so far it's just amazingly written and I love how the transition goes from memory to reality so smoothly and it's just ah it's beautifully written and I love it um, and call me crazy I'm actually uh, reading through this thing and I'm actually enjoying it. I don't know why so many people hate it. I really like it. I'm sure if I get a little bit further I might hate it and stop. But I really like it so far so I'm learning a lot from this. Yeah. Good old Barry. Thank you for making my life easier. That guy is awesome. And then there's a little bit of a sad story with Lolita. I've kind of stopped reading it because it got a bit too disturbing. I was like, huh, huh, I don't think I can read this whilst I'm still working. So um, I'm, I'm quite far through it. I'm like 100, 200 pages through. I think it's 200, maybe 200. 125, I'm 125 pages through, which isn't too bad, but it is a 500 page book and it was a little bit daunting to be reading during the 30 day book challenge so I kind of stopped reading it so I'm gonna fi I am gonna finish it because I'm one of those stubborn people that has to finish books but I'm leaving it for now the next thing I want to talk about in this video is my TBR list I don't like making them because I always feel disappointed when I don't read as much as I should or want to so I'm just gonna bring up a load of books that I want to read in the next however long and then I will review them as they come but it's not so much a TBR. I'm gonna stop talking. So this is my TBR pile at the minute. It, I don't really like making these, but um, I've got A Farewell to Arms by Ernest Hemingway, which I already said about and I haven't managed to read it yet. I bought three beautifully gorgeous penguin modern library, classic library, something to do with that in Warwick University. I got um, Henry, two books by Henry James. I got Henry James's Washington Square and Daisy Miller and Turn of the Screw, which are both by Henry James. And then I got Where Angels Fear to Tread by E.M. Forster, which looks amazing. So I'm really looking forward to reading them and they're also beautiful. 
And then I have two John Green books that I want to read that shouldn't take me very long because I get through John Green books like I do food and that's pretty quick. So <laughs> I'm gonna get those read. Engleby is the one my English teacher recommended to me so I'm really looking forward to reading that. Probably gonna read it through the summer because it's probably not the best book to read whilst I'm still working because it's supposed to be quite confusing and weird. I want to read this when I go to Bath which is officially three weeks, three weeks, four weeks maybe. So I'm gonna read this when I'm in Bath because it'll be nice to have the context and it's really small so that'll be nice. So look out for the review for Heart of Darkness. I should have read, fingers crossed, Death of a Salesman by tonight and I will do a review of that as soon as I can and I will see you when I read another book or when I get a tag or at the Booktubeathon. Have an amazing week and rest well and read lots and drink tea. Bye! <laughs> I never know how to close off videos.